Hey, good afternoon everybody. It's Steve with Real Progressives. Today um, I spoke on a panel at the Convergence uh, Conference, People's Convergence Conference here in um, uh, you know Washington DC at American University and you know watching the various uh, panels and so forth you get a real opportunity to feel invigorated by the idea that you know, people are actively fighting uh, to try and build a party outside of the duopoly. But one of the things that is very important to me, and I'm just going to be very clear, you know, I've been fighting conspiracy bullshit for as long as I've been fighting for modern monetary theory. I have a deep inner disgust over the, uh, the, the conspiracy peddlers, largely because there are some conspiracies that are straight up very, very important, that are real, that are just facts that haven't been corroborated, and they're legitimate conspiracies that are really not conspiracies at all. They're actually fact-driven truths. Um, but we have some, some serious, serious dumbass conspiracies that at the end of the day serve only to destroy our movement. And I want to talk about this because we've talked at length about the Federal Reserve and we've talked at length about various sidelining economic bullshit theories that folks throw around with the intent of trying to make something that's very, very boring be something that's exciting. And unfortunately, the truth is not always as exciting as the James Bond novel. And this is what we're up against, folks. Do you understand truth is under attack? Truth is under attack because it's not as exciting as a lie. It's not as exciting as a fucking conspiracy. And, you know, I thought long and hard. You know, I used to be in the Ron Paul camp. I used to be into the zeitgeist crap. I used to sit there and forward these bullshit videos around because they were well made. I used to sit there and forward around the Alex Jones conspiracy Federal Reserve stuff. I did because I thought it was like, oh wow, look at this. It's, look at what they've done. They've done so much research. It's never made it to public. This is it, man. This is it. And then you realize that it's just bullshit. It's bullshit. They take spindles of truth, little tiny moments of truth, and weave in the lie. And the truth is just too goddamn boring to keep people's attention. And when you tell them the simplified answer, they double down on stupid because the other one is just so much more exciting. It's like a drug. It's a fucking drug. And this, my friends, is why the truth will fail and why the progressive movement will fail. It will fail a thousand times over again if truth, as boring as it is, doesn't win out. If you don't understand, it's okay to not understand. What is not okay is to peddle lies as truth. What is not okay is running around telling people James Bond stories just because it's more exciting than the truth. And sadly, my friends, our movement is going to be clipped in the bud if we continue to allow bullshit to sideline us. Do you know there are people dying today that if we were able to get people to understand, if we were able to get people to understand that we have a sovereign monetary system today, if we were able to get them to understand it today, not in 10 years when we tear down the system and we rebuild some new system, today, in other words, all the people that are destitute today don't have to die because people are sidelined with bullshit 
These bullshit conspiracies that take us 25, 30 years out. We can't do it. We have to kill everybody. We have to do all these things in order to survive. Do you realize how stupid this is? We have it today. And once you understand that, you understand the rage. You understand the self-righteousness. The rage is freaking real. It's not like contrived. When you see people suffering and you hear people say, well, we've got to tear down the system and do some new system because we, you know, whatever. And you're telling right here, right now, this very moment, we have the power to do this today. But you keep pretending we don't so people don't rally. They don't unite around truth. They continue to chase rabbit holes. They go down in there and look for Alice. They continue to look for Alice. When she's 10 feet tall. Folks, the truth is so simple. It doesn't require an economics degree. You don't need to be a genius. You just need to not be an asshole. Modern monetary theory is an accurate description of the way our system works today. It's a description of the way the system works today. It neither needs to be implemented. It's not a political movement. It's not partisan. It's nothing more than simple truth. So why in God's name would anyone ever speak about it ignorantly, without knowledge? Why would they say something that they don't understand? Why would they feel empowered to speak and sideline a fucking movement? Folks, if you want a new deal, keep it real. Let's just say, if you want the people in Florida when Irma hits, or you want the people in Houston from Harvey to be able to rebuild their cities without any issue of costs, you need to understand modern monetary theory stat. Not zeitgeist. Sat right now, right the fuck now. Those people are depending on us to be smarter than the friggin' numb nuts that run around chasing conspiracy theories. They're demanding that their lives matter more than the James Bond novel that people want to follow. We can afford anything we need right here, right now. All it takes is Congress to appropriate it. And you know what? Congress isn't acting on our behalf. Why is that? Because the people are sidelined with bullshit. They won't stand up and unite for truth. They sit there and they chase all manner of bullshit. You want to see something happen that's changing the way we live? Watch and see what happens when the people unite around truth. When they get sidelined by these bullshit freaking rabbit trails, then nothing happens. And we have self-fulfilling prophecies and people die. That's it. That's it. Full stop. Simple as can be, we can afford anything we need to do right now. You don't need to know economics to know that. I can give you detailed stuff. I can give you a real deep dive, but you don't need that. You need to know flat out we aren't broken. We can fix it all right the fuck now. I'm Steve Grumbine with Real Progressives. Have a good night, everybody.